Good afternoon my friends and welcome back to my den for another probably the first shave since uh, um, our convention in, in uh, Las Vegas. This is the first time I've had a chance to cut loose and be in the be in the home space. Today's shave is brought to us by the Spice Melange Dune Desert Planet. That's probably the main reason I bought it. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I read all the books and movies and whatnot. And have the matching aftershave and well no this is the aftershave balm this is the aftershave splash so we'll see how these all work together um, spouse unit was not entirely um, knocked off her feet with it on the first try this time she won't know that it's new and she's at work and I'm not so I'm using it so there mm. um, the razor today is something you'll not see a lot of I'm not saying the rare or anything this is a Wade and Butcher but it's a 5 8 bar, uh, barber point hollow I, I mean a wedge Where's the camera at? Wedge. Uh, Wade and Butcher, but it's just, it's we. And so we're going to give this one a try. I got, I have to admit to a bit of um, trepidation. I've not used this razor before. So I've had it for a while. And this is old enough that it's got, I think, wooden scales. I'm not going to try to even attempt to date how old this guy is. I know he's older than me. Not that that's huge because I'm not that old, but sometimes I feel old. It's been quite an adventure. I got off the plane, come home from TSC Fest, TSC Com, jumped into a car, actually a rented Kia van. They're actually not bad cars. I don't think I'd own one, but it does everything uh, adequately. It goes there without any hiccups. It was kind of thirsty, but. Uh, This is aerodynamic as a Kenmore, so can't really expect it to be turning in world changing fuel economy. Here we go. nearly no audible feedback and that's on a good five days growth uh, I haven't taken time to shave since uh, we got back from uh, Key West I can say that there were some parallels to the 
Adventures. E West and uh, in Vegas. I'm still kind of cogitating on that. But that's something we can talk about in one of our famous TSC shave zoom calls. who aren't members of the shaving cadre we uh, started having face-to-face -face virtual meetings during the uh, COVID time and uh, got to know each other pretty well I'm still marveling actually over how seamlessly we uh, we bonded it's as if we'd known each other for years in other words these guys are a genuine bunch of guys Boy, this thing is, uh, I'm not going to say this razor is harsh, but I'm going to say it's kind of abrupt. I'm almost smooth enough for daily, daily work, if I were just going to be a work at home or just wanted to keep myself nice one pass and I could probably I could probably go to work just after one pass but I got a lovely bowl of lather here so you're gonna get at least two passes out of this I got enough soap for about or enough lather for five or six passes but I don't think my face could take that many passes with this razor I'm not saying, like I said, it's sharp as can be because it, it mowed down just everything. Here's what we'll do. Let's go with the, gr or I guess the grain here. And then this is with the wrong off hand now. I'm going to try. Man, it's nerve wracking. Difficulty with the angles. I want to be able to comf as comfortably be this way with the left hand, but I am so savagely right handed that. Uh, I worry a little bit about ever being able to work that in. That and I got a severed tendon in my left hand right here. <laughs> I don't know if that affects anything, but boy, was that a nightmare with, uh, what do you call it, uh, rehabilitation. I 
What was I doing when I severed that tendon? Sharpening knives. If I can do it that smoothly with my right hand, why would I, why would I add unstable hand? Other than just for the fun of it, to uh, upset the apple cart, I've got over. I don't. I've lost count. I got well over a thousand shaves um, with the straight, all right-handed. Why would I try to change now my? my uh, method, my groove, as it were. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be a primarily right-handed shaver. But in case my wife gets angry and breaks my right arm or something, I will be practicing with. That's probably a good, good thing to do. We got two things in this is really nice soap and I like the way it smells I cannot give you a, a description of what it smells like because I don't have a trained nose and it's still not nose really isn't at a hundred percent even after well I had COVID 2020 and I'm still a little bit getting over it and you do a little splash then there's a question for you guys is it splash then then bomb or bomb then splash that's pretty nice it the alcohol that's in it isn't causing me any discomfort so I gotta think that when I was I didn't do any damage to the whole plating, so I'm, I think I'm in pretty good shape. Here's a little bit of the balm. Holy moly. Um, don't use the whole travel of the, uh, of the pump thing. You get up with a fistful of shave balm. I had to dump a little bit into the sink here. I wore a hat when I was in Key West, so I didn't burn my head too much. I was concerned about my precious few protecting what my brain case here. And it didn't happen, so it was okay. So that is about it for today. Um, do you want to introduce you to my new, my new shave towel here? You can see that I'm Major Rich, and you will find me at the Shaving Cadre. This is our new, uh, our new emblem. This is the old one, so I'm going to leave that up there for a while as an homage to the. As we are growing, we've kind of got our, our big boy pants on now with the. A real thing it's my thousand shave thing and my lather master uh, thing that all came from con and of course CBL soap is a staunch uh, uh, supporter of, of what we do now I'm gonna re review we use uh, who is this? Oh, 
Bernstein, Bernstein Rand's Melange. Um, and we use their aftershave splash and their, their uh, aftershave balm, which is kind of splurchy. We used a Sterling Kong. I think it's the Kong. It's a real big synthetic. I'm becoming a huge fan of synthetic brushes here lately. I've uh, not been using anything but probably for the past three weeks. And this is my Wade and Butcher 3 8 wedge or 5 8 wedge. Um, my on the first first flush, I think pretty good, pretty good razor. I'm gonna take a little getting used to. Uh, he said, I don't have a for some reason. I had a fearing of dread and whatnot about that. Also, want to feature um, these rocks that were passed out at the. Uh, it looks backwards to me. Can you read that? Does that forward or backwards? Don't worry. Be happy now. From Vegas of 22. That goes out to our friends who contributed those to our to our table thank you so much I'll give you a shout out and I'll put put that down here in the doobly-doo and maybe even featured in the in the title here because that was that was a nice contribution and it's, it's something these are made by hand by people who make stones like that some of them had faces on of them some of them had other things it was really nice at any rate Thank you for coming, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.